Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new update of Dark OS Windows Emulator Project. And the good news is that they added support for Mali GPU on MediaTek, Exynos, or other ARM users. They added some lot more custom features in this new update. Currently, I'm on an Exynos Mali GPU device with max overclocked GPU and CPU and kernel running on the latest Android 14. Okay, guys, let's head over to Terma. In the past, I did a video on how to install Setup Dark OS. If you missed that, check out carts or description. Now just simply, I'll enter into safe mode. Now enter command two to settings. Here, as you can see, there are a lot of new custom features are added. First, make sure to update this emulator to latest version. As I already installed latest build. Here they added VirGL support specially for Mali GPU users. Simply I'll enter command. Now the VirGL server gets installed. Exit safe mode, it will automatically start to boot system. And there we go guys, the system got booted. Here now you need to configure dark OS. On the bottom, you can see there is VirGL settings. So select it. Here there are OpenGL versions, Mesa extension options, drivers. Here choose OpenGL version based on game you play. Like for smaller DirectX titles, you can choose from lower to 2.0 or 3.1. And OpenGL 4 is extreme level of render. It depends on what type of titles you render on device. But don't expect bigger AAA titles like you expect on Snapdragon 1. On side here, we have Mesa extensions. When you are rendering something, or ah, uh, basically you can set different graphics options or change GL's behavior while you game. Like you disable texture, sRGB decode, texture compression, or whatsoever. If you want dedicated video on it, let me know in the comments. There are some extra additional options, like you can enable Gallium HUD preset for FPS. Okay, anyways, now here choose driver to D3D9 or prefer from version eight or above. Select latest Mesa driver. Set GPU to GTX 470 or 1050. It's better to choose 470 for a Mali GPU. Start VRGL. We are done. Select OK. Here select GPU driver to updated version. Currently, the Mesa driver 24.1 is the latest, so install it. Here, select Box 64 version to latest build date. Set DynaRec preset to default or performance if you want. Now select apply and save changes. The system gets booted. Now go to start programs. Select wine configuration. Choose Windows 7 version or above. These are the libraries. On staging option, make sure to enable this option for better graphics performance. Now currently, this emulator is running on Wine 9.5 version. Now apply settings. And one more thing, here select Task Manager. Select Kill Services so that the process gets stopped. Also go to core manager, set to all cores. It's recommended for Mali users because most of old titles uses more CPU than a GPU. Open CMD, enter systeminfo.exe and enter, which gives entire system information from drivers to everything. As you can see, we currently using Windows 7 build version. You can get system info data model or whatsoever. Here it shows two processors installed basically. Here it is using my complete phone's memory with a dedicated virtual memory as well. Okay guys, now let's go to this PC. Here there are a lot of drives as I mentioned in my previous video. The main advantage of this emulator is that it displays entire phone storage so that you can directly access to your Windows games or software easily. 
but on others, we can only have access to a download folder. Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe us for more. Thank you, guys.